This is Dr. Holt. This video is on the potential energy and the stability of the potential energy system itself. One thing I want to note is that there is a direct relationship between potential energy and the force. And we know that the negative derivative of the potential energy function in respect to x will give me the force of x. Now you can do this in terms of y and z to get the forces in the drift three different uh, directions. When we're looking at potential energy and stability, here I have it what's called a stable system. At this point here, I'm in equilibrium. So what you want to do is you're looking for where you're concave up. Now we can define that as by taking the second derivative of the potential energy function and where we're going to be positive, then we're going to have what's called a stable system. When you take the second derivative, we're going to be negative, we're going to have an unstable system. And then we're to define the inflection point, obviously where the second derivative is equal to zero. And we're going from concave up to concave down or vice versa from concave down to concave up as this graph shows. Then at this point here is called neutral equilibrium. I'm going to look at one problem here. I'm giving the potential energy here as 6x squared minus 7x cubed and we are to determine what the force is. Now just again remember that the negative derivative of du, excuse me, the negative derivative of the potential energy function in respect to x will give me f of x. So I'll just come over here, I'll take the derivative of this, I'll negate it, so that's going to give me negative, let me write down that force, fx is equal to negative 12x plus 21x squared. Okay, so that would be what the, the equation to find what force is at any x distance, or what your, excuse me, or by your, multiplied by what your displacement is at that point, and that would determine what the force is. Now it says, assuming no other forces act on the object, what position is the object equilibrium? Well, to find equilibrium, we're going to take the derivative of our potential energy again do not do not use the negative and don't, don't start taking the derivative of this come right back to this we will take the derivative of that that will give me u I'm going to do that in blocks excuse me that will give me u is equal to again 12x minus 21x squared we're going to set that equal to zero to find the critical points when we do that we will go ahead and pull out an x I will get 12 minus 21x is equal to 0. We will set x equal to 0. We will also set 12 minus 21x equal to 0. We'll set that as 12 is equal to 21x. And then we will divide by 12. And then 12 over 21 would equal to x. Again, these are my two critical points at this point in time. I don't know whether I'm concave up or concave down. Now what you can do here is go ahead and take your second derivative. I should have put u prime, I apologize for that. So now I put u double prime. That's going to give me 12 minus 42x. All right, now what we want to do is we want to take these values here, put them back in for x. When I put 0 in, I'm going to get a positive value. So right now I know since I got positive, I'm concave up at this point. So I know I'm in equilibrium here. And when I put this value into here, you notice I am going to get a negative value. Now even though I get a negative value, and this is one of my critical points, I am still in equilibrium at that point. So there's two equilibrium points, x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 12 over 21. The problem being here is, since I'm negative being concave down, then any time I move any direction away from that, I'm going to be unstable. Now to find what's called neutral equilibrium, all we have to do is take the second derivative and set that equal to zero. So I'll take 12 minus 42x. I will set that equal to zero. I will solve. That gives me 12 is equal to 42x. I divide by 42. And again, you can simplify if you choose to. 
that's max value. So that is basically my inflection point. So at that point, I am what is called nu neutral equilibrium. And notice it falls halfway, bet I shouldn't say, yeah, I guess it does, halfway between zero and this value right here. So I know from zero to 12 over 42, I'm going to be a stable system. And then from 1242 to 1221, I'm going to be unstable. And then as I move away from that system, I'm also going to be unstable. All right, let's look at one more problem here. This is a, an, an AP, AP problem that you might see. It says a certain spring has a restoring force that obeys the equation f of x is equal to minus ax plus bx squared, which the following equation equal potential energy as a function of position. Now again, just go back that we know that negative du over dx is equal to f of x. So I'll go ahead and move the negative over to here. Erase it from here. So I have a differential equation that I'm going to have to solve. So I'm going to set du is equal to minus f of x dx. So at this point, I'm going to integrate here and integrate here. Now we'll substitute back in. We'll bring this right here and bring that back in and put it in for f of x. So that's going to give me the integral of du. And I'm going to negate all this when I do that is equal to the integral of ax minus bx squared from 0 to some x value. And then when I integrate, I'll get my potential energy is equal to, it's going to give me ax squared over 2 minus b, excuse me, minus b x cubed over 3 between 0 and x. And when I do, I get back the equation of my potential is equal to a x squared over 2 minus b x cubed over 3. And that's going to be my potential energy. All right, and then what you have to do is just find that answer and multiple choice, and there's our answer right there. Again, it's not too difficult. Again, probably the, the thing from experience that I've seen students leave off is forgetting to negate the force when you do the integration. All right, this video is pretty short, but I hope it explains how to find the stability and what the relationship is between potential energy and force.